Hi, I'm Steve and I'm the User Experience Designer for Corel Painter. This is a brief introduction to the What's New workspace for Painter 12. This workspace has been designed to highlight many of the new features, brushes, and a general overview of Painter 12. Once imported into Painter, it is available from the welcome screen or from the workspace flyout in the window menu. The first thing you will notice if you have used previous versions of Painter is the user interface has seen a dramatic change. Please note there are several palettes in this workspace that are custom palettes that do not exist in the default workspace. First, a quick walk through the Painter workspace. At the top, we have the brush selector, the property bar, which we also had in Painter 11. We have added a new recent brushes bar that shows the 10 most recently used brushes, allowing for easy access and switch switching to your recently used brushes. On the left side of the screen, we have the toolbox and the media selector, to access all the media libraries for different patterns, gradients, nozzles, weaves, and looks. Both of these can be displayed as a single or double column view as well as horizontally. This can be changed in the Interface Preferences dialog. Default panels on the right showing the navigator, color sets, and layers with tabs for the color wheel, mixer panel, and channels. To the left of this is a custom palette with several icons which will call up the different panels for Painter for controlling different aspects of the application. You can also access all of the panels from the window menu. We'll do a quick run through of this panel in a minute. At the bottom of the screen, there are a couple of more custom palettes with media and controls for the new brushes and the new symmetry tools. You can rearrange the workspace to meet your needs, switching the palette visibility by clicking on the tabs to make it visible. And if you double click on the tab, you can roll it up to save screen real estate. You can drag the panels around to rearrange them, creating your own workspace to suit your needs. Back to that panel on the right to go through the other panels that are in Painter. First, we have the six that represent the panels that are visible in the workspace. Navigator, color sets, color, mixer, layers, and channels. Next is the big one, the brush control palettes, which contain all of the brush control panels. This has had some rework from Painter 11 to reorganize some of the controls as well as adding panels for the new media types. Next, we have the papers palette with the papers controls and the paper library. Here you can change which paper you're using and make adjustments to the paper texture. The Patterns palette with the controls in the library, gradients, nozzles, looks, weaves, images, and selections portfolios. Finally on the palette is the clone source, auto painting palette, layout grids, scripts, and text panels. Looking at the paper library, you can see that the libraries have been updated to allow you to have access to multiple libraries at the same time and allow you to customize them to meet your needs. You can rearrange the items in the library just by clicking and dragging them around. You can create a new library from the flyout and then add items to it from the default or other libraries by dragging them from one or the other. And you can hide the libraries that you don't use to make more efficient workspace. Okay, let's start to play with some of the new stuff. Creating a new document, you can set the name, size, canvas color, and paper texture of the painting you're going to work on. If you find that you work on a similar sized or styled document frequently, you can save that setup as a preset. So next time you create a document, you can select it from the preset list. While painting, you can use a keyboard modifier to change the size of your brush as you could in Painter 11. Pressing the Command and Option keys and clicking down, you adjust the size of the brush, seeing a visual display of the brush ghost with the radius of the brush displayed at the top center of the screen. What's new is that while in this mode, if you let go of the command and option keys with the stylus still pressed to the tablet, you can toggle through different adjustments by tapping the command key to adjust the opacity, squeeze, and rotation of the brush without needing to go into the brush controls to make these adjustments. Also, another handy adjustment feature is pressing the option and command and one keys while painting brings up a temporal color palette right under your brush position, allowing you to quickly adjust the selected color to paint with. If you'd like to see the temporal color picker bigger, you can grab the edge of it and adjust the size of it. And once you've selected a new color, just click anywhere and you can start painting with that color. Another change is the brush selector. It has been changed to be more accessible in Painter 12, allowing you to see the categories in either icon or list views and seeing them all at once. And while you switch categories, the variance list on the right allows you to select brush quicker. Dab and stroke previews are displayed at the bottom of the list. So, now let's take a look at the new media in Painter 12. 
First, we have some of the new real watercolor brushes. These have their own controls for customizing them and allow you to see the water and pigment flow, blend, and dry just like real watercolor paint. Also on this panel are four new watercolor papers developed by Cher Pendarvis to really show off the real world look of, our, of your watercolor paintings. Next, we have the new real wet oils, which emulate oil paint that has a higher terp content so they flow and blend with each other. There is also a set of new digital airbrushes that have blending and stroke options to allow for nice blending of strokes and the ability to control the hardness of the edge and the merge mode and the opacity of the strokes on a stroke by stroke basis. Similar to the airbrushes are the new gel brushes that allow for a blend and stroke attribute control using a variety of dab types. Next are a couple of new features that we have added that I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun with. New symmetry tools allow for mirror and kaleidoscope painting. Turn on the mirror mode and you can paint horizontally or vertically symmetrical paintings, or you can rotate the planes and continue. With the kaleidoscope, you can set the number of planes up to 12 and create lots of great effects. As you can see, as you paint, the strokes are repeated within each segment, duplicating your efforts. I hope this helps you get going with Painter 12. There's a lot more that I have not been able to show you in this video, and I encourage you to explore it all. Have fun. Cheers.